So what does Bob Dylan think about winning the Nobel Prize? Well, nobody really knows because he's ghosting the Nobel Committee. He's the newest Nobel laureate in literature, but even that isn't enough for Bob Dylan to break his silence. The elusive star has not publicly responded to the honor, despite giving two shows since it was announced. And it turns out he's ignoring the Nobel committee, too. Sounds like they've given up in trying to get in touch with him directly. Dylan last week became the first musician ever to win the prize for literature, setting off waves of discussion about whether the 75-year-old was an appropriate choice. But now, the bigger question seems to be, does Bob Dylan even care? It's unclear clear whether he'll show up for the presentation of the prize in Stockholm in December. He skipped many high-profile award ceremonies in the past. A done deal. Billy Bush has parted ways with the Today Show in the wake of the drama caused by a leaked tape of a 2005 conversation in which Bush and presidential nominee Donald Trump made lewd remarks about women. TMZ reports Bush reached a settlement with the show's network NBC for an undisclosed amount. Bush's lawyer is denying reports that the amount was $10 million. Bush was a host on Access Hollywood at the time the tape was recorded. Amy Schumer is speaking out after 200 audience members booed and walked out of her show in Tampa, Florida on Sunday after she criticized Trump. But Schumer isn't too bothered. In a statement to Vanity Fair, Schumer says, quote, I want to thank the 8,400 people who stayed. We have always depended on comedians to make us laugh and tell the truth. I'm proud to continue that tradition. The comedian has long been a very outspoken supporter of Hillary Clinton, so it's kind of surprising that her fans wouldn't have expected her to take a few jabs at Trump. Shiver with Anne Tissom. Picture. A cult classic is getting revamped in the TV reboot of Rocky Horror Picture Show, 41 years after the original campy musical debuted. Why do you think it still remains true, what's being said in Rocky Horror Picture Show? It granted so many permissions to the world to be who they are and love who they want to love. And now, 40 years later, we have a network putting at the helm of their project a black transgender woman. That is an example of the permissions that Rocky Horror has granted this world. How unbelievable is Laverne Cox in this role? She killed it. She smashed it. I would come to watch her even when I wasn't filming, just so I could just see what she was doing. I really think she's going to blow people away. It's not easy having a good time. See Cox step into the famous fishnets yourself when Rocky Horror Picture Show airs Thursday only on City. It's sort of weird being honored for the worst day in your life. Billy Lynn's long halftime walk is a story of a young soldier struggling to reconcile his wartime experiences in Iraq and his hero's welcome back to America. It's the latest from visionary director Ang Lee, who's pushing boundaries this time by shooting the film with 4K cameras in 3D at an incredibly high rate of 120 frames per second. While the verdict is still out on whether the hyper-real effect works, newcomer Joe Alwyn's performance is certainly getting noticed. Terry caught up with him and his on-screen sister, Kristen Stewart. This is your first movie? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? What do you think this movie is adding to the war movie canon? It's not our parents' war or our grandparents' war. It's genuinely ours, and um, it's one of our first coming home stories. Billy Lynn's long halftime walk hits theaters November 11th. We'll have more then from Terry's chat with Joe, Kristen, and their co-stars, including Steve Martin. And as always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning at any time on Twitter at NCity.